This pretty woman disappeared in February 2022 in the small German town of Bremerhaven. 32-year-old Yekaterina Baumann worked at a school and taught yoga. She had a five-year-old daughter and a husband. They lived in this lovely country house. Such an ordinary family. The police began investigating after numerous statements from Ekaterina's relatives and friends. On February 12, 2022, the police released the woman's characteristics. Average height, green eyes, long brown hair, speaks fluent Russian and German. A special squad was created to search for the woman. Only about 400 volunteers from all over northern Germany searched for her. The the case also involved sniffer dogs, drones, boats, and sonar. Ekaterina's friends and relatives said she could not simply leave home without her five-year-old daughter. She had never done this before. There were other oddities. Two, Ekaterina's mobile phone, which her relatives had been trying to call all these days, was found at her home. Volunteers searched for the woman for several weeks, but everything was unsuccessful. And only a month after the disappearance, everything became clear. On March 1, 2022, Ekaterina's suitcase was found on the banks of the Wesser River in Germany. When rescuers opened the suitcase, they found parts of a dismembered female body wrapped in garbage bags. The examination proved that these body parts belonged to the missing Ekaterina Baumann. The terrible discovery shocked the whole country. There was no doubt someone had deliberately killed her and then tried to cover up the crime by disposing of the body like garbage. The killer hoped that the suitcase with the body was carried far out to the river and would never be found. But he was wrong. By luck, the suitcase washed up on the shore, and thanks to this discovery, the case was solved. The police and relatives no longer doubted who could have done this. This woman's story is very touching. In one of her latest photographs, she smiles joyfully. In January 2022, she wrote on her social media page, May this year be a happy one. She wanted to live so much, raise her daughter and communicate with relatives. But unfortunately, this year will not be a happy one. This year will be her last. Just two months after this post, she will die, and her body will be disposed of most terribly. Ekaterina Bolgova was born in 1989 and raised in the Russian city of St. Petersburg. She was a simple girl from an ordinary family. Like many girls, she wanted to travel, get a profession, and start a family. At the age of 20, Ekaterina went to Turkey on vacation and met her future husband there. They met very romantically. Ekaterina's seven-year-old brother fell into the water and began to drown. At that moment, Walter ran up to him and helped him get out of the water. The boy was grateful and offered to introduce him to his older sister, who was the most beautiful girl in the hotel. Thus began their holiday affair. They immediately fell in love with each other, despite the age difference. Walter Baumann was 14 years older. At that time, he was 34 years old, and Ekaterina was only 20 years old. She was a student and studied at the university, majoring in international management. Walter Baumann lived in Germany, where he moved many years ago from Kazakhstan with his parents. His family had Russian roots, so he spoke Russian well. Thanks to this, Ekaterina and Walter communicated easily. The fact that they lived in different countries did not hinder their relationship. At first, they chatted by phone and the internet. And then Walter visited her several times in her homeland. 
For an ordinary young student from St. Petersburg, the 34-year-old German seemed like a wonderful man. He lived in a big house in Germany and had a stable income. Ekaterina was not embarrassed by the fact that Walter, at 34, lived with his parents. Indeed, according to those around him, Walter was a bit of a strange guy. He dreamed of finding a princess, an innocent, beautiful girl, an absolute ideal. He had high demands on his future wife, so he was lonely for a long time. At the same time, Walter himself was not an eligible bachelor. He dressed in dirty clothes and gave off an unpleasant smell sometimes. Walter had never married by age 34 and lived with his parents. Such men are often called mama's boys. Indeed, Walter had a very strong connection with his mother. They constantly chatted on social media and often talked on the phone. Maybe that's why he never had relationships with girls before. Besides, Walter was an eternal student. At age 34, he studied to become a food industry technologist and worked at the port. He maintained his student status for profit, allowing him to avoid paying taxes. He was listed as a student, but in fact, he did not study at all. Walter was very greedy and saved every penny. It was also beneficial for him to live with his parents. However, meeting a beautiful girl from Russia completely turned his life upside down. Friends said he walked around with loving eyes and often boasted about his bride. He spent a lot of money on trips to St. Petersburg. A year after they met, he invited Ekaterina to move to Germany with him and transfer to a German university. The girl agreed. It's incredible how such a sweet girl could fall in love with such a guy. However, in her eyes, Walter could look like an eligible bachelor. It is no secret that the standard of living in Germany is higher than in Russia. Therefore, Walter, who lived in a big house with a stable income, could seem like an excellent future husband to her. She probably just fell in love because people like Walter, despite their oddities, know how to make an impression, and it didn't bother her that he lived with his parents. Because in Russia many adult children also often live with their parents for a very long time, because renting separate housing is very expensive. In 2010, Ekaterina moved to Germany to live with Walter, and a couple of months later they got married. It was a luxurious wedding by the standards of the small German town of Bremerhaven. They registered their marriage at the lighthouse and then went to the restaurant in a carriage with white horses. It was very beautiful. Thus began their happy family life. The newlyweds settled in Walter's parental home and first lived with his parents. Unsurprisingly, from the first days of their life together, the young wife faced problems. The fact is that Walter's mother was a very stern woman. She worked all her life at a marine institute studying the issue of global warming. The woman held a large position and was used to controlling everyone, especially her only son. She treated the 30-year-old man like a little boy. She called him every hour and constantly asked where he was. This irritated the young couple very much. As a result, seven years after the wedding, they managed to buy their own house. Around this time, their daughter was born. Walter worked at the port and earned approximately 4,000 euros per month. He worked a lot, even on weekends, but at the same time he was very greedy and saved most of the money. Ekaterina worked at a school and taught yoga. But her income was clearly less than her husband's and she was highly dependent on him. When Ekaterina gave birth to a daughter and could not work because she devoted her life to the baby, Walter began to behave rudely and control his wife in everything. He forbade her to speak German with her daughter and to obtain a driving license. 
Walter did not allow his wife to work and constantly forced her to sit at home and care for the child. He beat her several times and also spoiled her education documents so that she could not get a job. He also feared that his wife might run abroad with their daughter. Therefore, he also hid her international documents. Ekaterina lived as if in prison. She depended on her husband and could not even go out for a walk without his permission. Their relationship became very tense. Scandals happened more and more often in the house. Walter behaved like a person with a narcissistic personality disorder. Such people usually suppress their partners and consider themselves unique and better than others. Ekaterina's life sometimes became so unbearable that she had to run away from home several times with her daughter to crisis centers for women. She first went to such a center in 2020, but then returned to her husband. The second time she lived in this center for several months. But she had to return again since life in this center was not easy. This time she decided to divorce her husband and start an independent life with her daughter in another city. At that time she lived in separate rooms with Walter in their house and was awaiting a divorce. She could not just pick up and leave since she could not take her daughter out without her husband's permission. And in Germany she had no one else. Therefore she had to wait for a divorce and permission to take her daughter out. But Walter, of course, did not want to share the child, which caused new scandals. At this dramatic moment, Ekaterina suddenly vanished. Walter contacted the police two days after she disappeared. He said she ran away with a suitcase and 15,000 euros, leaving her daughter behind. But Ekaterina's relatives could not believe it, since she could not leave without her daughter. In addition, border services established that the woman had not left Germany. It also seemed very suspicious to everyone that after his wife's disappearance, Walter behaved very calmly and even renovated the house. He also bought a massive amount of cleaning products from the store. This also raised many questions. It was only when Ekaterina's body was found dismembered in a suitcase that everyone realized that Walter might be involved in this. By the way, an interesting fact is that the woman's body was found not far from the lighthouse where the lovers once got married. On the same day that the body was found, the police detained Walter Baumann and took him into custody. The case was brought to court a few months later, but the man denied his guilt. In October 2022, Walter's mother intervened. She stated that it was she who killed Ekaterina. According to her version, Ekaterina attacked her with a knife and she accidentally killed her while defending herself. Thus, she allegedly accidentally strangled Ekaterina and then disposed of her body. However, no one believed this story because by that time investigators had found a lot of evidence of Walter's guilt. One of them is the history in his internet browser. It turned out that the man was looking on the internet how to dissolve a body in acid and how many sleeping pills are needed to kill somebody. The evil husband had been preparing for the murder of his wife accurately. An examination of the body showed that Ekaterina was killed on February 4, 2022, two hours after dinner. The killer mixed sleeping pills into her food to wait until she fell asleep and deal with her. Sleeping pills were found in Ekaterina's stomach. These same pills were found in Walter's kitchen. When the woman fell asleep, her husband strangled her, then dismembered her, packed her in a suitcase, and threw it into the river. 
gloves, tape, trash bags, and canisters of acetic acid were also found in Walter's garage. The man also removed almost all of his wife's personal belongings, leaving only one wedding photo that reminded him of happy days. Investigators also found that on the night of the murder, Walter called his mother at least nine times. Surveillance video showed an unknown person entering Walter's home that night. It is possible that the mother could have helped her son get rid of his wife's body. However, her guilt was not proven. It also turned out that after the murder, Walter thoroughly cleaned the house, made repairs, and washed his car in the service. Later, another terrible fact became clear. Some parts of Ekaterina's body did not fit into the suitcase. As Walter's mother told the court, they packed the woman's thigh separately and threw it into the river with a waiting agent. Indeed, Ekaterina's thigh was later found in a tributary of the Wesser River. Investigators were also amazed by the virtuosity with which Walter cut up the body. This is not surprising because he studied to become a food technologist. He worked like a professional butcher with his wife's body. The worst thing is that on that fateful night, Ekaterina's five-year-old daughter was in her room and she could see everything. After her father's arrest, the girl was placed in an orphanage. Walter could have had several motives for the murder. Firstly, he did not want to share their daughter with Ekaterina. If the woman had gone to Russia, he would no longer be able to see the child. Indeed, Walter loved his daughter phonetically. He constantly spent all his time with her and did not allow strangers to contact the girl. Although, in fact, Ekaterina did not plan to return to Russia, she wanted to move to Hamburg, find a job there and start a new life. However, Walter was not satisfied even with this. He dreamed of getting rid of Ekaterina and raising his daughter with his mother. Secondly, he did not want to share the house with her, which he bought with his own money. Thirdly, he could have killed her out of jealousy. According to friends, during one of her trips to Russia, Ekaterina met a man with whom she began a love affair. Her husband could see one of her love letters and be furious. Fourthly, Walter was just a mentally unstable person. He was aggressive and lost his temper sometimes. Some psychiatrists say he may have had a narcissistic personality disorder. Such people can actually kill someone in a fit of anger. But Walter committed a planned cold-blooded murder, which makes him completely evil. According to the court's decision, Walter Bauman was imprisoned for life. Let's hope he never gets released. Even while in custody, he constantly corresponded with his mother and asked her for help. But his mother could not help him. By the way, despite false testimony, she remained free. It's good that at least she is not allowed to communicate with her granddaughter. This is how Ekaterina Bauman's mother, Svetlana Balgova, commented on this court decision. I expected such a decision. The only thing I hoped was that not only would he be brought to justice, but also the same mother who showed significant participation. She influenced his decision to kill and clearly, so to speak, participated in covering up the traces of the crime, clearly indicated where she was right thigh which was not found. She herself admitted that she had erased traces of the crime. From the criminal case materials, it is clear that they disposed of the clothes at her enterprise, where only employees are allowed. 
now Svetlana is trying to take custody of her granddaughter, but the German authorities categorically refuse to give the girl to her relatives in Russia. The fact is that the girl has dual citizenship, German and Russian, so she cannot simply be handed over to her maternal grandmother. Now the girl is in a German orphanage and her own grandmother cannot even see the girl. Almost two years have passed since the murder of Ekaterina Bauman, and her daughter is still in a German orphanage. Relatives from Russia still cannot take her home. Do you think this is fair? Where do you think a girl should live? Share in the comments. And thanks for watching.